and I'm happy. I'm 13 years old. And I'm 11. And we'll be singing Best Thing I Never Had by Beyonce. Before Halle Bailey would land the role of Ariel in the live action remake of Disney's Little Mermaid, which was met with mixed reactions. It pisses me off! Ginger people do have souls, all right? Before Chloe and Halle would clock in almost 2 million followers on Instagram, a quarter million on Twitter, and over 1 million subscribers on YouTube at the time of this recording. People would always tell us, oh, maybe you guys should post YouTube covers. We were like, okay, sure, we never took it that seriously. We uploaded it. And we were honestly happy with like the first 100 views because we weren't really expecting much, but mm -hmm. then it just kind of kept progressing and then bam. Before the sisters would perform at the 2016 BET Awards and would pick up a Best New Artist nomination for the 2019 Grammys. Now we all know that Beyonce went and had some twins and some people might think that they're Chloe and Halle and that they grew up super fast. And well, Nah, it's not the case, but it could make some sense. Now, Queen B, she discovered this sister act on YouTube and has been mentoring them during the recent years of their careers. Now, for this video, I'm gonna be focusing on both Hallie and her big sister, Chloe. Now, people might think that these two just arrived on the scene, but these girls have been acting since they were in diapers. Now, fate would bring the Bailey family to meeting Beyonce way back in 2003. This was when older sister Chloe was cast to portray baby Beyonce in the film Fighting Temptations. Now, Hallie, she would get her first movie role at six, and the two would go on to become the winners of Radio Disney's The Next Big Thing. That was in 2013. More recent credits, well, they include their work on Grownish. Take a look. Boom. Fix your faces. Where did you find that? How did you find that? Now, seeing as these sisters grew up on the internet, well, there's plenty of photos and videos of them prior to becoming famous. Take a look at this. Notice anything different about Chloe's foot? It's a breeze. That's the wrong foot. It's a breeze. I was really, really expecting her to yell, What are those? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> All right. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden hitting you with another Before They're Famous video, this time on the two sisters who make up Chloe and Hallie. Now, if you're excited to see Hallie in the role of Ariel, let me know by hitting that like button right now. And if you're even 2% sad for her sister Chloe, you know, she must be feeling like Solange. Well, let me also know by hitting that like button. Now we've got more videos coming your way per your requests, including a Before They Are Famous on Emma Chamberlain and more on Belle Delphine. So look forward to those, and I'll see you guys after the intro. And just hit that like button, because that's Lon's joke. Before they were famous. Before they were famous. Before they were famous about. <gasps> that was a pretty good video. I like this guy. Does. Look, Cruddy, cool. you did a great job. Michael job. is never wrong. So damn, that was cool. How did he know that? Whoa! Chloe Bailey was born on July 1st, 1998, and Halle Bailey was born on March 27, 2000, both in Atlanta, Georgia, to parents Doug and Courtney. Now, their mother, Courtney, she worked as an HR recruiter for Twitter, and dad, Doug, well, he left his lucrative career as a stockbroker and is now a full-time manager to his star daughters. Musicality is sprinkled throughout our family. Um, our father... Looks like he'd be a Our father's <laughs> mother is a really, really great singer, but our dad cannot sing. He has a great ear, though. And our mom has a beautiful mom. voice, but no, we're not twins. The girls also have an older sister in her late 20s named Sky, who filmed their earliest YouTube videos. There's also a younger brother named Branson, who they dote about online. I was the youngest brother. I know what it's like. Now their mom, Courtney, she signed the girls up for acting, thinking it would be good for their confidence. She had no major expectations of what was to come. Now Chloe, she booked her first audition to play Beyonce in Fighting Temptations. And for this gig, well, she beat out 500 other little girls. Not only did she get the gig, well, the family, they attended the rap party. And Chloe, she got a photo hugging Queen Bey. Or is it Queen B? Sorry, I'm more of a Solange fan. Said no one ever. All right, I'll stop. Now, Holly, she was the next to land a gig in the feature film Last Holiday with Queen Latifah when she was six. Now, from there, the girls, they would stick to musical performances at talent shows and summer camps, some of which you can still find on their YouTube channel. Bye. And you're about to sing Love Is You by Chrisette Michelle, and we hope you enjoy it. 
Now both girls are vegan. The kids are starting so young these days. They're also massive fans of The Secret, you know, the law of attraction. And they got to work on manifesting their own futures. Now they were also constantly being told that they should upload their stuff to YouTube, but at first their parents, they weren't so sure. When Doug and Courtney finally agreed, their acapella cover of Beyonce's best thing I never had, well, it went viral. And all of a sudden, well, their house phone, it got a call from the one and only The Ellen Show. Now they never ended up on The Ellen Show, I'm not sure why, but they did get the attention of Radio Disney's The Next Big Thing. That's a show which they went on to win. They also toured the country. Now previous to this, the girls, they'd been attending public school in Georgia before the family made the move to Los Angeles and switched them to homeschooling. This was so they could focus on their now blossoming careers. They also took advantage of the opportunities coming from their YouTube channel. Now their early videos, they garnered them three or 400 views, but their undeniable talent, it soon drew in millions and millions of views. This guy looks just a for us. We crave a different kind of us. The sisters taught themselves to play the piano and the guitar from watching YouTube videos, and they do all their own vocal arrangements. They also recorded their own demos. Now when they need to record, well they would make sure their parents and their brother promised not to turn on the TV and shut the door to the living room. I actually read that these girls staged their YouTube background. They wanted to be more relatable, so they put something behind them to make them look like they were in their like uh, living room. But it was like a, it was all made up. Now most people just assume that the two are twins. I don't know why I thought y'all was twins. And super fans, they started pointing out their differences in the comment section and debating which of them is the next Beyonce. Chloe is the more classic R&B voice with heavy vibrato, and Hallie's voice is tremulous with jazz inflections. Now the girls would cover all sorts of artists. Hey, Everyone from Adele to Kendra Lamar to good old Cardi B. Now the girls noticed pretty quickly what their audience liked most of all, which of course was their covers of Beyonce. It was their cover of Beyonce's Pretty Hurts, which caught the attention of Beyonce herself. This was in 2013. Now it wasn't long before Beyonce signed the Bailey sisters to her label, Parkwood Entertainment. Now soon enough, the girls, they found themselves on the European leg of her Formation World Tour in 2016 as an opening act. They also made appearances in Beyonce's Lemonade visual album. Now eventually, as Chloe and Hallie, well they released an EP in 2016 titled Sugar Symphony, which spawned the two singles, Drop and Fall. Now Drop has more than 5 million views on YouTube, while Fall, it's racked up more than 1.5 mil. Now the next year, they released a second EP titled The Two of Us, which Rolling Stone magazine named the best R&B album of 2017, or at least one of them. In 2018, Chloe and Hallie, they released their debut album, The Kids Are All Right, which they would executive produce themselves. Damn, these kids these days. Now simultaneously, the girls, they continue to book acting roles. The girls landed recurring roles on Grownish. They also appeared on the Disney's channels, Austin and Allie. Also, Tyler Perry's House of Pain. Now I'm assuming both girls auditioned for the role of Ariel, or how I like to say it, Ariel. <laughs> I'm trying to be the crab. Anyway. It was Hallie who ended up nabbing the leading role. Director Rob Marshall says that apart from Hallie having a glorious singing voice, well, she also possesses that rare combination of spirit, heart, youth, innocence, and substance. And these are intrinsic qualities necessary to play this iconic role. Yeah. All right. But of course, with everything that happens nowadays on the internet, well, there will always be detractors. And people are upset that, well, she won't be played by a white girl especially from the gingers. Really, what is so freaking different? Tell me! God! Cause I don't really see much of a difference, okay? I'm redhead, 
I'm redheaded, and I'm proud of it. All right, guys, I'm wrapping up this video. How about an after they were famous on that guy? You know what I mean? All right, my name, of course, is Michael McCrudden. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Let us know who you want us to document next in the comments down below. And if you're a Solange fan, well, let us know by hitting that like button. Thought there'd be more of you.